Yes, hi everybody. So Lee McNabb, I head up group payment strategy for NatWest. Um, so getting across our entire customer franchises from retail to commercial to markets, understanding and steering the group strategically. And then from an industry perspective, understanding what's next, what we should be doing, why we should be doing it, all with kind of our customer at the heart. Um, good question. I think there's probably quite a few and it's hard to boil down to just one, but what I'll, I'll probably group them actually. I say with the backdrop of the macroeconomic challenges we're facing, the ever present constant that is regulated and mandated change creates a real challenge in retaining that laser focus on delivering what the customers want and what the customers need, whether that's from offering the best experiences um, to keeping them safe and secure. Obviously, fraud is a, is a real challenge. Um, to ultimately competing with providers that can play in one particular space versus a bank like us that plays across the full value chain for all customers. All those kind of create a bit of a perfect storm, which is probably a, a challenge, and it's one that's ongoing. Um, again, good question. It's probably not one single one. Um, I think the resetting of the landscape with the national payments vision that came out of the Joe Garner HMT review is a real opportunity that kind of at summary level encompasses all the key elements um, that will shape the next five years uh, from combating the fraud challenge to accelerating and commercializing open banking. We need to ensure it includes certain things like the role of big tech in the UK and the future of digital assets as well. And I think that vision, as we work together as an industry to define, um, that in itself creates the opportunity for the next five years. Um, technology, right? So I'm, I'm always a big believer in not using technology for the sake of it. And, and so the answer is probably a combination of, of a few. I'm not going to sit here and say blockchain will solve the woes of everything. Um, if we think about what APIs have done in the open banking space, I mean, APIs existed already, but we've almost brought them to the fore with open banking. You think about J AI and Gen AI. I mean, again, nothing new really. There's a big hype around what it what it really means. But if you start to bring these things together, so... AI and open banking payments, maybe Gen AI um, and, and, and machine learning from a fraud management perspective. If we then think about things like DLT, although like not a utopia that I think people once thought it was, that that role in the future of money, I think a combination of all of all those um, will actually bring the biggest change. But I don't think it would just be one single piece of technology that really flips upside down what we do currently. What else am I excited about? Um, lots of things, to be honest, which is sad but true. Um, I think in the digital asset space is probably the area that I'm that I'm probably most excited about. It's it's arguably a bit of a format war. What do I mean by that? If we think about Betamax versus VHS, DVD versus Blu-ray, streaming versus live TV, just a big question mark over what's going to win. I don't think anyone would sit there and say, there isn't a world where digital assets are front and center. I think there's a big question over timeline. Um, I think there's a big question over how deep, I think there's a big question over the decentralized versus centralized world and where they start to merge um, more overtly. But that's the area, and I appreciate it encompasses a lot, but that's the area that I'm most excited about.